All right, so Issa Rae, the Mindy Project's Joe Sharakamore, and Moonlight's Ashton Sanders. That's just a few of the alum of the Amazing Grace Conservatory. Actress Wendy Raquel Robinson and the late Tracy Lamar Coley started the AGC decades ago to help train and develop emerging artists and at-risk youth. And the latest group of talented kids, they're performing this weekend. I've never been anywhere else where I've been able to have the opportunities that I have at Amazing Grace Conservatory. Being here and being able to have these experiences with black and brown counterparts is just, it's amazing. It's really fun, you know, um, being on stage is like a second home for me. So singing, it came to me naturally, to be honest, and I've ran with it ever since I discovered my gift. A gift indeed. Would you believe that voice is coming from a 14-year-old? These talented kids are all part of actress Wendy Raquel Robinson's Amazing Grace Conservatory. They've been working hard on their upcoming performance of The Wiz. A lot of our stuff is very grounded, stays human, stays in the, you know, world of the earth. Let me tell you that you come to the right place. So being able to be like a guy who, you know, fell into this magical place and he's a wizard now, that's really cool. And it's my first time playing a lead role, so I was like so excited. <laughs> and I've never done this before, but I'm just like... I'm just ecstatic. Wendy says the conservatory started as a passion project more than 26 years ago, but it is now her purpose. And I feel like this has left a bigger carbon footprint on not only the world, but on my life and my career than anything. The reward that I get, you know, spiritually, just, you know, it just, it just, it's, tr it's transformed my life. It really has. You've seen Wendy on movies and TV shows like The Game and The Steve Harvey Show. But as successful as she is, she tells me she'd be a very different artist without her work with these children. Going as far to say the industry has provided her a platform to be able to do the Amazing Grace Conservatory. I don't have any biological children, but I feel like I have fostered thousands. Do you know what I mean? So they're all of my children. They're my legacy. They're my seeds. And one of the things I always say is that your seeds shall exceed you. Mm -hmm. And they really have. And sometimes they come back to help. Yes. In 1997, Alfred Jackson was a little kid who performed in the very first AGC show, which was also The Wiz. Now he's back directing, calling it a full circle moment. So uh, being able to have my own vision, but also be inspired by my past directors, it's just, it's just a great feeling. And being able to uh, give the kids something else because I was a student here. So I'm like, I've been where you guys are. All the excuses don't work. We can do this. Let's make it happen. Some of them think that they can't hit certain notes, but they actually can. But they just have to get in there, work it out. So I have to push on them, but at the same time, give them confidence to keep going forward. The show's musical director, Stefan Terry, says this has been a journey and an amazing adventure. I feel like Dorsey is very much like me. I see myself in her a lot. So um, I've just been kind of using my own experiences to play into her character since I see such similarities in us. And I think that playing her has definitely help me learn a lesson about my own life and how to believe in myself. You know, on the sidelines, I'm always dancing. You see they're all nodding their heads because I'm always dancing and moving and things like that. And Scarecrow is just a very physical character. And I, like, I'm having a lot of fun bringing all of that physicality um, to the stage. I feel like this show is so fun. And the reason why it's coming together so good and why it's being performed the way it is is because I feel like these people are like my family, my brothers and my sisters. <laughs> Ease on down the road. So funny, yeah. By the way, the shows are Saturday, May 27th at 6 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 and 6.30 p.m. Tickets start at $25 or less if you have a really large group. You can save a little money. Again, it's at Crenshaw High School's beautiful Performing Arts Center. Super talented, so, these I mean, kids. Can you imagine it at lead, such a young age? Yeah, 14 years old, That's right? wild. And to know that they have all of these alumnus, you know, alumni that yeah. come from there, so you know they go on to these successful it's careers, amazing in acting and singing, and yeah. it's got to be really inspiring for these little kids. Yeah. And just so you know, this is just a few of the kids. There's a uh -huh. giant group of kids performing in yeah. this show. I'm excited for them. Yeah, yeah, I am too. It's like a great so performance. excited! Go see them.